guys and welcome to day 18 of the 100 days of making comics challenge uh, this is a challenge where I spend 30 minutes a day every day for the next 100 consecutive days uh, working on my comic monkey junk uh, which is a soon-to-be webcomic uh, and hopefully by the time it's all finished a beautiful printed comic um, last night was a really good night uh, pretty much started off I got home had to do all the usual chores and things so the time I got to sit down um, the first thing I did was ink those two pages that I was talking about yesterday um, and I've actually gone ahead and finally taken some photos of the three character sheets that I did uh, with the different poses so you can check them out here so they were really fun to do and no doubt I'll continue to do more of those uh, throughout um, this journey uh, but yeah for now it was just more of an exercise to re-familiar myself, re-familiarize myself, get comfortable with the characters again etc etc um, and I definitely feel like I've achieved that by doing this challenge for this small challenge within the challenge um, so today I moved into, or well, last night, after that I spent a couple of, maybe an hour and a half or so doing client work um, just to get some more stuff out to them for the children's book so I inked another page um, so I sent that to them um, so that's two pages that they can approve if they approve those I can get them coloured potentially by the end of the week like if I got them coloured by the weekend over the weekend um, that puts me a week ahead of schedule which would be fantastic um, and I'm still waiting for a couple of other sketches to get approved as well so just got to wait and see what happens with it um, and it's really up to the client if they want to make changes etc um, but I've got a good feel of what they like now um, they're usually pretty happy with what I produce for them um, so it's very seldom is there any changes that need to be made which is great uh, probably one of the best things about working with return clients is you get to understand them and vice versa and um, the work process becomes quicker because of it so it's great um, so yeah once I did that sent them the inks there wasn't really a lot I could do because I couldn't color anything um, yeah, I couldn't colour any pages, I couldn't, um, I could probably pencil a couple more, I think there's two left that I need to pencil, um, two of the pencils haven't been approved, and yeah, so, just a, a little bit of a waiting game, I think I'll just, um, I'll hold out until I hear from them, which will probably be today, and then I'll spend a chunk of time over the weekend, um, I did get another commission this week, uh, for a family portrait, uh, so I'm going to try and nut that out over the next week as well. Um, silly me when I talked about it, I didn't, I, I didn't tell them the price because I was at work when I was messaging them and so I've got to message them a price today before I get started because I don't want to start and be like, oh by the way this is going to cost you $200 and they turn around and go, oh no that's too expensive because by that point if I've already sketched it then I've already wasted an hour of my time, for example. It's really dark today, what's going on? It's like meant to be 30 degrees today but it's super cloudy and it's slightly raining this morning so which could be an interesting day we definitely need some rain it's been a few hot dry days these past few days anyway I digress um, so once all that was done all the children's book stuff was done for the for that day um, I went back into monkey junk and not so much drawing monkey junk but more doing an exercise or a study for myself um, so I went into my studio and pulled out a couple of comic books um, namely I pulled out Jeff Stokoe's Wonton Soup and Brandon Graham's uh, King City I know I've mentioned both of those books before on here um, but for those of you who are interested like those are the artists that are attached to those books um, they're fantastic books and I remember reading them Wonton Soup I haven't fully read because I only got it recently um, I just loved the art which is why I picked it up um, but the one that I did pick up was King City, which I picked up a few years ago, and I've read that multiple times because I love it. Um, that's a really fun book. I remember thinking, like, when I first picked it up, I loved the artwork. Um, I loved, you know, everything about it. Like, when I was looking at it... Um, sorry, my chair's been playing it up lately. This is the new chair that I got, too, so I'm going to have to... I think we're probably going to be fixing it tomorrow. It's a pain in my bum. Um, not literally. Yeah, so, sorry. Back to, back to, I was looking through King City last night anyway, after having 
not looked at it for probably a year or two uh, properly and like I know looking at the pages that that's how I want my book to look um, in fact I'll put up a photo here so you guys can get an idea of how the pages look uh, the black and white with just the one grey just to help separate some things um, that's how I've always in this run imagined Monkey Junk to look now um, I really like it I think it's going to be um, I think that's going to work for the comic for the style of the comic and the style of the story so I sent that to Lee as well and said yeah this is what I actually have in mind for the book and you know, stylistic choice etc etc um, and he really likes that so that's good it's good that he's on board with my sort of vision um, being that he's writing it it probably gives him a better idea of how to write certain things too knowing what it's going to look like in the end game um, so there's no point going oh lots of bright colors and stuff because it's sort of redundant um, yeah anyway I'm getting over the, past the point that I'm trying to get to um, looking at the book as much as I still love it um, the art isn't as great as I remember it to be I don't know if it's just because as an artist I've also grown in time and learned more things etc etc but I'm just noticing and like consistency is not an issue but um, just the way the characters are drawn I'm like don't quite do it for me anymore um, the style and um, the layouts and the overall thing is great but when I sort of pull it apart in my head and look at say look at a, a specific character like, oh that's actually a bit sort of rougher than I remember or oh they didn't quite nail the shape of that face etc um, I'm just noticing little things like that which are sort of niggling at me while I'm looking at it which is frustrating because I like the book so much and I hate that I'm sort of pulling it apart now um, but that's the whole point of the study so anyway, I found a few scenes that I liked and um, I drew them and um, this is one of them here on the screen now um, sorry it's had like a weird momentary lapse of what I was trying to say um, yeah so that that gives you an idea of sort of what I'm thinking of in terms of background so this is really quickly done based on a picture from the comic book so I didn't come up with anything there this is completely referenced um, and it's just a practice thing um, I'm trying to understand with backgrounds sort of how in depth I should be going um, how much detail I should be adding how much in certain areas and so the foreground how much detail can I get away with while still making it feel comic-y and not too over not too full um, in the backgrounds like what can I get away with um, and one of the things I picked up with picked up on is in the background of that you've got like sort of the cityscape which is just a bit of line work um, but none of those lines connect with anything in the foreground so that really creates that um, illusion that it is further back in you know in the horizon of um, the image so you know it's obviously it's not as important as what you're looking at um, in the foreground um, where the characters are so I, don't know, I picked up a few things from that and that was great and I'm glad that I did that study I'm going to do a little bit more over the next couple of days um, so you know monkey junk pages are still on hold until at least Monday I think I reckon I've got Friday Saturday Sunday um, left so I'm just going to continue the study um, whether it's backgrounds or whether it's um, props or whatever um, yeah little things just to just to build that sort of mind catalogue so I know where I'm going and to make life a little bit easier once I start really drawing the comic and making the comic better in the long run so yeah that's going to be good um, I did receive a comment yesterday from Marshall um, he was saying in yesterday's video he would love for me to do a video about consistency in your characters uh, which is uh, something I never actually considered I know I talked about it a little bit but um, doing a video about it sort of gave me some ideas and how I would actually approach that um, to make it more comprehensible to other people to understand you know how to go about it um, and yeah it's given me quite a few ideas of how I've never really thought about it myself but how I actually go about doing that like you know, when I'm deciding to make the characters like what kind of shape are they, the head are they going to have and is that going to affect this and that and you know 
what are easy ways for me to remember, etc. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Um, I also still want to do, um, there's another video that I mentioned I wanted to do recently, um, which now I cannot remember. Um, so I'll make, which is a great point I'm going to lead to next, is that I'm going to start writing these ideas down again. Um, I did have a massive list of ideas uh, for YouTube videos about a year ago, and I've lost it since, you know, with the move and work and everything. God knows where it is. So I'm going to start writing a new list uh, for you, you know, YouTube content that I want to create uh, in the back of my sketchbook, so it's easy to find. So consistency in characters is one of those videos, and hopefully more. So if you've got ideas or if you've ever sort of heard me talk about something and you want me to elaborate further on it, um, let me know and I'll put that down. And I really want to make some effort to uh, start making some videos again really soon. Um, it's just a matter of finding the time at home and finding quiet space to do it in. Um, that's probably the biggest issue. Um, having a kid and all makes it difficult because, you know, if she goes off her head for whatever reason, as kids just like to, um, I've got to stop the whole video and start again. Um, and it's just a pain. So, it's trying to find a balance to be able to get those videos done. I can't do them at night because my studio is next to her room and I can't just sit there talking all night because it'll wake her within five minutes. So, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll find a time to do it eventually. Um, and when I do, I, will, you know, I can't wait to get to them because they're the kind of videos I really enjoy doing rather than just sort of recording myself talking. All right, I'll leave you guys there. Um, again, if you've got any ideas or suggestions for videos for the future, please throw them down. Um, they'd be great. Um, I do definitely want to get back into the YouTube thing and you know move away from just vlogs and start doing more um, you know, proper videos. Um, otherwise, if you guys have any questions or just want to say hello, drop them down in the comments below and I'll get back to them uh, as soon as I can. Um, hopefully, Today, if I can, because I just feel like I haven't had five seconds to even do it um, lately. A weird, weird week. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you all tomorrow for day 19. Um, and hopefully, hopefully today's a productive one. Uh, have a good day, guys.